It doesn't matter what the trend is. The sooner you harness its power for yourself and your organization, the bigger your advantage. Because that advantage is a strategic advantage that will guide your organization for years. Joining us is trend expert Dr. Amy Vanderbilt, AKA Dr. V. We're talking with Dr. Amy Vanderbilt about the state of math and science education in the U.S. We are talking with Dr. Amy Vanderbilt, AKA Dr. V. Dr. Amy Vanderbilt, turning emerging trends into your personal and professional advantage. A consistently engaging and energetic speaker, author and commentator, Dr. Amy Vanderbilt offers new viewpoints and innovative advice that you can use every day to turn emerging trends into immediate and lasting advantages for yourself and your organization. And I want to push notices and flags out to relevant people. Maybe a manager would need to know that one of his employees didn't check into the hotel last night. Yes. Checking guests in, just making it easier for the guests to utilize our hotel and services. For the hotel business, SMS could be a perfect fit. You have these sort of small pieces of data that need to be exchanged quickly. What can texting bring that all of these other things can't bring? It's about speed. It's about timeliness. Just a tiny bit of information that I need when I need it, when I'm in a spot where I can do something about it. I'm going to take a look a little harder into different marketing opportunities. I thought Dr. Vanderbilt did a great job. Um, she's very articulate and really has a, a pulse on the trends of today. All about great technologies. It's wonderful. I learned uh, about the social networking um, being a benefit and really how to use that. Social media started as a way for friends to post photos of friends and keep friends up on what's going on. But the business world is taking it over in a big way, mostly for marketing, but you're about to see a shift in that. LinkedIn is a wonderful place because you have your network, you have the Q&A section, and you have groups with discussion boards. What do you want to know? Find out anything in minutes. If you'd reached that, that coveted 500 plus status, you likely have more than 8 million people in your first three tiers. And what that means is you can search your first three tiers for anybody in any position in any company, and that means it's easy to find new prospects and clients. She rapidly climbed through the ranks of large and small business, academia, and government by harnessing the power of emerging trends. Now she brings that advantage to audiences world over. What would you advise businesses and organizations to do right now? How can they use this trend to their advantage? My best advice to businesses and organizations of all sizes is to address both the organizational and the human sides of this equation. Dr. Vanderbilt, how bad is it? And what kind of effect is it having? The state of math and science education in the United States has suffered a significant decline over several decades now, leaving us with a declining pool of technical talent. Many people think we're number one, but in fact, we're number 36 in the world. What trends are you seeing in this arena, and what advice do you have for our viewers? When you see another country with big economic growth, chances are they've established their place in the innovation economy. Countries like Singapore, Sweden, and others are leaping ahead of the rest of us, producing new intellectual property at a record pace. Through tailored speeches, events, commentary, and innovative books, Dr. Amy Vanderbilt reveals critical trends in business, education, management, leadership, and the world stage. What trends are you tracking in the travel and food industries right now? The travel industry is seeing a surge of technology-based advancements using mobile texting, new web portal designs, and online booking technologies. On the organizational side, optimize your proposal and business processes for maximum effectiveness and efficiency. Be innovative in these processes and put the right people in the right job on the right team. Do that and you accelerate your organizational performance to peak capacity and keep it there. It goes to show that every organization needs to be thinking about their future in the innovation economy. The best thing anyone can do is understand how this decline affects your organization and your family. Figure out what you can uniquely do to help turn it around. 
It doesn't take a lot of effort, but it will quite literally determine the global standing of your company and country in the decades to come. Her clients include companies and organizations of all sizes throughout the world, all of whom use her unique methods and insights to produce immediate and lasting results. The most valuable thing that I learned was the fact that, you know what, you can't continue to do things the same way. Just a great speaker. Okay. Piece together everything we kind of know is out there, she put together in one presentation. I made a lot of notes, a lot of good ideas. She's got um, some really good humor that she throws in there. She's very engaging, very interactive. She's just got good energy. I'm positive after listening to her speak. To see more about the trends that Dr. V is tracking and how you can turn them into your advantage, viewers can check out her websites at dramyvanderbilt.com and trendwatchlist.com. The future effect of all of this when you sum it all up. It's about doing more with less hassle. What is that gonna do for you and your organization? What's that gonna mean? Bottom line, is it cost savings? Is it happy management? Fewer audits? Time saved? Why? Take it back to your organizations, it's all yours. <laughs>